One of the quintessential financial planning questions I saw again last week. I'm going to share it with you right now from a financial planning perspective, how you answer this and address it. That more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. Okay, I've gotten this question. We've gotten this question countless times. Gone over this before as well right here on The Wise Money Show channel. Here's the scenario. I'm 55 years old. We've saved up about $1.2 million into our 401k. Is it time to switch our our 401k contributions to Roth 401k contributions? Great, great question. Now, before we get into the planning perspective, here's a few things that I like about the question. Number one, I, I like the awareness that this couple, this, this individual is looking and saying, I need some tax diversification. I've got $1.2 million saved up, but I really don't have $1.2 million. A chunk of this is Uncle Sam's. I'm not sure what percentage, but I might get a statement for 1.2, but that's not all my money. So the awareness that I need tax diversification. Number two, the awareness that I'm running out of time to fund my Roth 401k in this instance, that my career is more than halfway over. I've got, it doesn't say in here uh, for, for this, this couple when they wanted to retire, but I'm running out of time to, to be able to fund the Roth side. So yep, that's important awareness as well. And even the question about funding the Roth side of my 401k, I also like that there could be awareness that, hey, at this season in my career, I'm in, I'm in some high earning years and I may not be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. A lot of people contribute pre-tax to their 401k and then also contribute to their Roth 401k. In this scenario, this person's aware, hey, I can't fund a Roth IRA. So if I want to do Roth contributions, it's got to be Roth 401k. Those are the things that I like. Good, good perspective. However, here's what appears to be overlooked. One, yes, I am could be in my peak earning years. Therefore, I might be in a high tax bracket right now. This might not be a great idea. It might not be a great time to fund the Roth side and pay taxes today in exchange for having them grow tax-free in the future. I also don't like, again, at this season, don't, I'm not sharing much with you other than the question that was asked. You might have kids in college. You might still have dependent kids. And, and it's at those times when you may need even more deductions, as many deductions as you can, so that you can get the potential tax credits available to you. Things like the child tax credit or the American Opportunity Tax Credit for college tuition. Those tax credits, dollar for dollar reductions in your tax bill, those get phased out if your income gets too high. So these, this, this season of life, you might need as many deductions as possible. This question seems to overlook that. And then finally, the details in the question, it, it details the amount of money saved up, but it doesn't detail what the current tax bracket is or future expected tax situation. So those are pros and cons, but listen, from a financial planning perspective, comprehensive financial planning perspective, the truth is you could leave out the age and you could leave out the portfolio size. So meaning at any age and no matter how much you have saved up, this is an important financial planning question. I'm blank years old, I have this much saved up, should I be doing Roth 401k contributions? Even if that question is I'm 21 years old, I have nothing saved up. Should I be doing Roth contributions? Or I'm 65 years old, retiring next year, I've got five million saved up. Should I be doing Roth contributions? It is this, like I said, is one of the quintessential financial planning decisions. And why do I say that? There's six areas to your financial life. Everyone's financial life, mine, yours, everyone's, has these six different areas. And choosing whether it's best for you to contribute pre-tax or Roth is a decision that can only be made best when looking at all six areas. Because whether you get a tax deduction on your contributions or they're after tax, that's gonna impact your take-home pay. That's gonna impact your cash flow. That's present financial position. Second area, protection planning. This influences whether you are self-insured or approaching self-insured from a life insurance standpoint. It impacts your income-related monthly adjustment amount, your IRMA, 
for on your on your Medicare out there in retirement and a few other indirect ways that's protection planning. Third area is obvious, that's tax planning. It's gonna impact whether you get a tax deduction today or, or and pay tax in the future or pay tax today and no tax in the future. It's gonna influence your investment plan, investment strategy, that's the fourth area. Obviously, it's gonna impact the fifth area as well, retirement planning. If, if in no other reason, but to explore the third factor in your five factor retirement plan is spending taxes in retirement. That's one of the expenses you'll have, probably your biggest, one of your biggest. But if you pay the, if you pay taxes now on those contributions, i.e. fund the Roth, then it's going to, those dollars will come out tax-free. And then finally, your, your estate plan, the sixth area of your financial life, this decision of pre-tax or Roth impacts your estate plan as well, because if there are dollars left over at the end of your life, what tax situation will you leave these dollars to your heirs? So knowing whether you should be contributing pre-tax or Roth is a financial planning decision and is best made working with your CFP, looking at all six areas of your financial life. Now, short of doing that, or before you do that, I'll give you a couple of cheat sort of scenarios when it is going to be an in your advantage to contribute to the Roth side. One, if you're young, and I would argue at this time, 55, you still could be young, right? Your retirement is gonna last decades. You still might be working for another decade. So you're talking about dollars that may still be invested for 30 years. 55 is young. 45 is even younger. 35 is even younger than that. But if you're young, advantage Roth. That's one. Two, do you expect to be in a higher tax bracket out there in the future? And that's really the biggest missing ingredient in this question. What tax bracket are you in? And where do you expect your taxes to be out there in the future? Knowing your tax bracket today is simple. You can look at your tax return, but you've got to build out that five factor retirement plan and do that multi-year tax projection to see, well, what tax bracket do we think we're going to be out there in the future? When I'm it, taking my required minimum distribution, what tax bracket do I think I'll be in? If I potentially receive an inheritance of pre-tax dollars, IRA dollars from my folks, what tax bracket will I be in? So being in a higher expected tax bracket in the future, that's gonna influence, you know, that's an advantage Roth sort of situation. And then finally, the third sort of cheat question or cheat scenario is, do you think the stock market will be higher or lower out there in the future? And this is almost a gimme, but I say it, well, A, because it's true, but B, because do you want the growth, on, the appreciation on your investments to be taxable to you, i.e., I'll take a deduction today and all the future growth on those dollars will be taxable, or do you want that future growth tax-free, meaning I won't get a deduction on my contribution today, but all the dividends and all the growth on those dollars out there in the future, they'll never be taxed again. The point is, work with your certified financial planner in good times and bad times, late in your career, middle of your career, early in your career, whether you've got a lot saved up, a little saved up, or somewhere in between, work with your certified financial planner on an ongoing basis to see whether you should be contributing pre-tax or Roth towards retirement. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you should contact one on my team. Find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well, or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go on, take your next wise step in your financial life.